Matthew, uh, you have been part of uh, Ashes, the, one of the greatest rivalries in the cricketing world. How, how would you compare this rivalry between India and Pakistan and the Ashes mm -hmm. and the kind of pressure uh, it brings on the players on both sides? True, true, true and accurate comment that that for, for Australia, it's England as, as the as the old guard, as they would say. Um, I mean, you could argue that England versus anyone, considering that at various stages we've been ruled by the kingdom of 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 the UK, um, and cricket wouldn't be on our shores if it hadn't been for that. Um, but nothing also um, that I've ever seen throughout various elements of of the game that I've been a part of ever matches the rivalry between India and Pakistan. And so, yes, there is an obvious pressure, as there is an obvious pressure playing against England if you're an Australian. The pressure, though, is only as much as what you allow it to be. And all that can, can be done is, is done. Your preparation is there. Your experience is there. Your opportunity now is, becomes a very a history-making opportunity. Um, we can present all the stats, we can do all of our homework and research, but nothing can replace what will be the stat that we all write about, that we all dream about, that we all coach about or commentate on, um, which will be the event itself. So I sense that our players are ready for that opportunity and, and I sense that there is a calmness around our group that that uh, warrants us to be a, uh, a successful competitor on the day. So all that is done is done. And and now it's just the opportunity of playing the game. Adam, Mr. Adam, how much time, chances you, uh, you are seeing about Pakistan victory against India, especially after watching the warm, warmer matches of both the teams? Yes, I think... Um, Closely, I've been watching uh, Indian cricket for some time. Um, as I've just mentioned, I've more or less watched KL Rahul, for example, who's a major threat to, to Pakistan, grow up as a boy. Seeing his struggles with, with test matches versus, you know, his dominance in, in the shorter formats of the game. Um, seeing someone like Rishabh Pant with his cheeky smile and his and his brash nature and his beautiful vision for the game, watching how he's uh, destroyed bowling attacks um, because he's got that opportunity and sees it that way. So yes, I, I think you know, individually, I think um, th there's always th it's always fantastic to see how players perform in a pressure match, and this camp has got. Uh, some wonderful uh, assets that that will perform on the day, that are ready to perform on the day. If, if you look at the way that even Fako has gone about his preparations for this this match, not to single him out, but you know to look at the way that he has extended himself in the two warm up matches, it's exciting to think that that can happen. You know, come a few days time versus India. Baba too and, and Rizwan, the top three, I think, are, you know, such a critical part of performance here in the UAE. Generally speaking, when the power players have been, you know, such a significant part of, of T20 cricket in the UAE. And uh, there have been a few exceptions, but most sides that win the power play win the match. And you don't necessarily win the power play um, by being overly aggressive. So I think that we have a very strong batting combination um, including Hafiz as well, um, inside that knowledge and that wisdom and that ability to be able to, to build uh, and, and create opportunities at the top of the order um, is certainly from a batting sense our strength. Big totals here are never going to be uh, achieved. You know, the two 200 plus totals I feel are going to be, it would take something extraordinary on the day. Um, for that to happen. So average scores roughly, you know, Charger 170, 
uh, sorry, uh, Abu Dhabi 170, Sharjah 150, and here in uh, Dubai, that 170 potentially is, is kind of like what we're looking at. So we're not talking about tens and over from the start of play. So I do think that we've got a very, very balanced and strong batting lineup.